The Tomb of King Tut is a burial place found in 1922 by British Egyptologist Howard Carter during an expedition to the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. The tomb was nearly intact, and its discovery was widely covered by media around the world, turning Tutankhamun into one of the best-known kings of ancient Egypt. The discovery happened when Carter's crew was working on a site in the Valley of the Kings. They removed some debris and found a stair marked with royal symbols. It was Tutankhamun's tomb. The archaeological excavation took almost eight years, and the interior chambers were mapped and accessed in different stages beginning in November 1922 and lasting through November 1930, when the last objects were removed. This finding piqued a new interest in ancient Egypt as people were amazed by the gold treasures, wall paintings, and the mysterious mummy. The tomb of Tutankhamun differs from others in the Valley of the Kings mainly because of the wall decorations, which are modest in comparison. Also, only the burial chamber walls were decorated. The scarcity of decoration on the walls has led scholars to believe this tomb wasn't originally intended to guard the remains of royalty and that it was hurriedly adopted to do so. The chambers inside the tomb consist of the main staircase that descends to the first doorway and an entrance corridor going from the first doorway to the antechamber. Here, a small wooden sculpture of the pharaoh, known as the head of Nefertum, is supposed to have been found. The antechamber, a large room, contained more than 700 different items, such as funeral beds, chariot parts, and a copper trumpet. The burial chamber is where the sarcophagus of Tutankhamun was found, surrounded by four gilded wooden shrines. The treasury room is another chamber that was filled with objects of relevance either for use during and after the funeral or symbolic objects to be used by the pharaoh in the afterlife and to guard the tomb against evil forces and robbers. Many kinds of objects were discovered inside the tomb of Tutankhamun. These objects, along with the murals on the walls, shone a light on the life and death of the ancient Egyptian king. They also provided a valuable insight into the political, religious, and spiritual landscape of Egypt at the time of his life and death. The murals in the burial chamber are strangely large, a fact often attributed to the rush by which the burial supposedly took place. Only a few large figures were painted as opposed to the numerous smaller scenes found in other tombs. The northern wall of the chamber has three depictions of King Tut. In the first, he has an open mouth, as part of a ceremony performed to imbue life onto mummies. In the second, we see Tutankhamun as a young child welcomed to the afterlife by Newt, goddess of the sky. The third mural depicts Tutankhamun embracing Osiris, the god of death. The eastern wall has representations of high officials of Egypt. The southern wall was used by Carter to access the burial chamber, so it was partially damaged. The intact area shows Tutankhamun with Anubis, god of afterlife, and Hathor, god of joy. The gods are holding Anks, which are crosses with a loop on the upper part and the Egyptian symbol of life. On the western wall, we see a mural of the Twelve Hours symbolizing death and rebirth. This belief presents Ra, god of the sun, facing a series of trials and perils, each on a different hour of darkness after sunset until the sun rises again. The mask of Tutankhamun is probably the best-known Egyptian object. The burial mask was found inside the sarcophagus of Tutankhamun and is made of gold. It was inlaid with precious gemstones, including quartz, lapis lazuli, obsidian, and turquoise to depict parts of the pharaoh's face and to decorate it. A variety of other objects were also found, including four canopic jars, traditionally used to preserve the viscera, or internal organs of the person being mummified. 34 small statues of Tutankhamun, which show the pharaoh doing common activities like hunting, two trumpets made of copper, an iron dagger believed to have been made from a meteor, and many other pieces of jewelry and artifacts. Explorers also found a statue of Anubis, which was located at the entrance of the treasury room. It is believed to have been meant to scare away possible robbers. Most of the objects found inside Tutankhamun's tomb have been preserved and exhibited in the Egyptian Museum of Cairo. Some relevant pieces have been in a cycle of exhibitions since the 1960s. They've been taken to different museums around the world where they gathered many visitors and then returned to Cairo. However, the most important pieces, like the Mask of Tutankhamun, have remained stationed inside the Cairo Museum.